up guys thanks so much for clicking on the video my name is leah and let's get it to the drama of it all y'all they just dropped the trailer for real housewives of miami and your girl is geeked <laughs> bring on the shenanigans from the latin girls i'm with it i'm with it Y'all don't understand how excited I am for Real Housewives of Miami. I am a little concerned with it not being on Peacock anymore because I felt like on Peacock, we got real fans. Now I feel like we gonna get bandwagon fans and that's gonna irritate me, but I'm excited. Like, I am also overwhelmed because there's so much going on and I'm like, these are the shows that I review and I feel like they're more spaced out, but we have, Beverly Hills premiering on October the 25th. You then have Miami coming out November the 1st. Then on the 5th, you have Potomac and Married to Medicine. All four of those shows I review, and I'm gonna try my best to review them, but that's a lot. But I'm just excited because Miami is starting to transition into this point in my mind of how I feel about Married to Medicine. The thing about Married to Medicine and why it's one of my favorite reality shows is because everything on Married to Medicine seems genuine to me. The fights, the arguments, the friendships, like the marriages, that's how Miami is starting to feel like there's a level of like care that they all have for each other. And I just, I love it. I love it. And I feel like Miami's, and, and don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that I like everybody on the show, That does, but it does mean that I have a level of respect that I cherish the cast. Like, I'm I'm irritated that on Married to Medicine, they, they gonna have lying ass Phaedra on my show. <sighs> but I, I, I'm gonna let it go, because it's not a Married to Medicine video. But what I'll say is, I don't want them to ever change the cast of Miami. These girls right here, Keep them all, even Nicole who get on my nerves, but keep them all, okay? Because all of them bring something to the show that is needed, and I'm just super duper excited. So first up, let's talk about this cast photo. I don't know why I hated <laughs> this pink color on the Beverly Hills girls, but this right here, this look expensive, okay? You got Julia and Larsa sitting on a Lambo. I said, okay, Lambo. No, Dr. Nicole look good. Gertie look good. Alexia and Lisa look I said, look at them. Look at them. Just wealth, money. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And then in the trailer, y'all, we got Lisa versus Kiki. They crying on the boat. <laughs> Juliana start crying. Gertie start crying on the boat. Then you got Gertie versus Larsa. And then not Russell. Was that his name? Russell? I think that's her man's name. Gertie's husband getting into it, telling Larsa, not too much, Larsa. I said, Larsa, not you getting, Russell, that don't say nothing to say something. You girl, what you doing? Then you got Alexia and Nicole getting at it. And Nicole telling Alexia, this ain't the road you want to go down. Because I, because if you want to get nasty, I can get nasty too. I'm like, okay, Nicole, let her know. Let her know. You may get on my nerves, but Alexia get us on my nerves the worst. So do what you got to do, sis. Do what you got to do. Then you got Marisol and Adriana still fighting. And you got Marisol saying, you're like a snake eating its own tail. And then Adriana being like, I'm not afraid of your poison anymore, girl. <laughs> then, then you got Gertie letting us know she has uh, breast cancer. But I think she beat it. I think she beat it because I remember seeing a video of her and the boys and her husband. And she was ringing the bell. So... Kudos to her. You know, we hope her and Martina are okay because we know Martina also, um, her cancer came back. You got them. Martina sitting at the table talking about, I've been to the hospital this many times. You ain't even say nothing. Getting my treatment. I said, Juliana, Julia, why you, why you not? Why you not focus on your wife? She going through chemo. Girl, you supposed to be there. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. And I'm here for it. Then you got Lisa crying because Lenny done called the, 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 the law on her trying to get her out the house. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I'm just like, I'm ready for the shenanigans. I'm ready for the shenanigans. So let's talk about the cast photo. We already talked about it, but we're going to talk about like, you know, the still shots and then we're going to read their bios. So let's get into that. 
So first, let's start off with Kiki. So her bio states, the ladies continue to go to Kiki for the laughs and for a good time. I think Kiki's uh, still shot is beautiful. Kiki got the leg up like she about to hit a mean salsa or bachata. I don't know. But she looked good. The pink outfit is pretty. I love her hair. Kiki said, I'm a model, so I'm going to give you model. I love this. I really do. So then let's talk about... Miss Cockies herself. Y'all know I have a love for Marisol. <laughs> I know she's a mess, but I have a love for her. But let's get into her bio. It says, in addition to celebrating with lots of Cockies, Marisol finds herself in hot water when she gets involved in the drama between Adriana, Julia, and more. I, what, what drama, girl? What you doing? Y'all know Marisol is messy. She a messy Bessie. Um, I'm not wowed by this outfit. It's, it, it is giving giving rich latin woman but it's so plain and i want more i want more marisol i want more so then miss adriana herself same with this outfit for adriana like after the way adriana dressed for the reunion i want more because we know she can give us more um it's just a basic pink dress but she looks pretty but let's get into this bio. It says R H O M A theme sing song singer. Okay, theme song singer, because y'all do know the intro to Miami is Adriana's song. It says R H O R H O M theme song singer is looking to expand her catalog of music. She is back and better than ever on the dating scene. Okay, Adriana is also going to therapy. Good for her. But could um, but could her progress be hindered when she learns gossip about Alexia and? And, uh, Todd's finances girl Adriana see this is why people be mad at you in this group because you you be acting like you gonna get better and then you start doing mess but I like it I like it so who should we talk about next 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 let's talk about Miss Larsa I this is giving Ashley Darby vibes girl this look cheap Larsa this look cheap I don't like it <laughs> I don't like it but let's get into her bio. It says, Larsa is in love. As her relationship with Marcus progresses, Larsa faces criticism from the rest of the group for spending so much time with the former college basketball player. Plus, will Marcus and Larsa be able to face the fact that they might not get... See, this... So, whoever wrote this... Okay, it's they're saying that they might not get be getting fully... So, it's basically saying that she might not get the full approval from their families. Which, girl, they Michael Jordan already said he don't like it. <laughs> and we know the people don't like it, Larsa. And you know the people don't like it. That's why you with him. Girl, you know the controversy keeps your name in the, in lights. It keeps the people talking. Don't play games. Larsa is, I like Larsa as a villain. And I feel like she's going to be a villain this season. And I might go up for it. I might go up for it. So, let's talk about Miss Alexia. This is, I don't, mm, no. Nah. I, it's cute. It's a cute outfit, but we know Alexia can give us more. Same with Adriana. Y'all could give us more. But let's see what Alexia's bio says. It says, while continuing to make strides towards Frankie's independence, Alexia confronts the rumors, um, confronts, Alexia confronts rumors that her marriage to Todd is not in a good place. When Todd unexpectedly brings up the news that the spouses are moving, Alexia grows concerned that her family dynamics is about to change. Girl, y'all ain't even been married for three years. <laughs> Why are the dynamics changing? <laughs> Why? Girl, are y'all really having financial trouble? You know, the people was questioning where Todd got his money. They was questioning it, girl. I hope y'all not having financial trouble this early. This early. Girl, this a mess. That's a mess. So let's talk about Gertie. I love this outfit. Out of all of the outfits, I would say Kiki and Gertie, they selling it for me. They look beautiful. They look beautiful. Um, so let's read Gertie's bio. It says, after um, getting diagnosed with breast cancer, Gertie is facing the possibility of going through chemotherapy. She looks to her husband's, uh, she looks to her support system, which includes her husband, Russell, but she soon learns that some of the friends, friendships aren't as strong as she once believed. So it's probably talking about Larsa because we did see her and Larsa arguing in the trailer. But I do remember, like I said, that Gertie is in remission or she might be cancer free. Either way, positive vibes all around. Positive vibes all around, all around, all around, all around. So next, let's talk about, let's talk about Nicole. I don't really like this. It's basic. 
And you know, Nicole good for a short dress. <laughs> she good for a short dress. But I also want to see Nicole in black hair. Like ever since I they put they showed that photo, I want to say it was season four, and it was like an old picture of her with black hair. It just she looked beautiful. Not saying she's not pretty, but something about dark hair on her just brung out all of her features, and I wish she would go back to it. But her bio says this. It says, following her engagement to the attorney um, to attorney Anthony Lopez, Nicole is considering the possibility of expanding her family beyond her new house and yacht. However, that doesn't mean that she's in a rush to walk down the aisle. Girl, then what was the point? What was the point, Nicole? Meanwhile, Nicole is still focusing on improving her relationship with her dad, even after he shares a bombshell about expecting his own family. Girl, <laughs> he too old to be... A at some point, I feel like <laughs> old man sperm needs to be obsolete like women going through menopause. Like, how? Girl, you, you, it got to be dust coming out of that. <laughs> and who let you impregnate them? <laughs> like, who wants their daddy to be 98 while they're 12? Girl, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I just can't. Oh, I feel for that girl. I feel for Nicole. Next is Julia. This is what I expected out of Jenna Lyons, okay? Like, if we go and wear a blazer, put on a nice trouser, a nice pants. I like this on Julia. It's cute. It's sexy. It's, it's she giving the vibes, okay? She looking real with the slick back hair. Like, we know, we know, we know how Julia get down. Okay, we likes it. So, this is her bio. It says, after season five, Julia's wife, Martina, confirmed that she had been diagnosed with two types of cancer. After beating both of them, Martina and Julia are looking for, uh, looking towards the future. Julia has a new lease on life, and she, um, she's managing her farm, getting back into her modeling career, and learning opera. Though Julia is living her life to the fullest, her friendship with Marisol is not in a good place. Girl, what happened between you and Marisol? Marisol, what you do? Y'all know I love me some Marisol, but I, she probably is in the wrong. She's probably in the wrong. <laughs> ah, she is probably in the wrong. Y'all know that Miss Cocky be in the mess and she be stirring that pot, but she, she probably is in the wrong between her versus her and Julia. Okay, and our last one is Miss Lisa. I kind of like this on Lisa. It probably is worth like maybe like $1,500,000. I don't know. We know how Lisa, Lisa is a girl with, with wealth and means. Um, but it is basic. It, it reminds me of Robin's two piece, but I do like the color on her. So her bio says, as her divorce from Dr. Lenny Hutchison becomes even more tumultuous, Lisa is looking for a clean slate and a fresh start. Will the ladies be there to support her or will they question her next move? Girl, what Lisa, what you been doing? What, what's your next move, girl? What is her next move? I'm excited. <laughs> I am too excited. I am so excited. Oh, the girls are back. The Latin girls are back and your girl is with it. So, drop down in the comments below. Let me know your, your thoughts on everybody's outfits, on the bios. What are you looking forward to? And yeah, remember to be bravely authentic, y'all. Deuces.